Miss Melanie Cervantes, and today I'm going to explain about the Argentina culture and its elements. First of all, what is the organizational culture? Well, according to Pablo Orellano, the organizational culture is the personality of the company. It means that it's what makes it different from others. Um, as I said before, the organizational culture has many elements, and I'm going to explain eight, eight of them. The first one are the archetypes. These are considered the first level of the organizational culture, and these refer to the elements that are easy for people to identify, recognize, and see. For example, the organizational chart. This is something that all the employees can see in the company. The next are the symbols. These are the elements that represent the company. For example, in a hotel dream had it, one of the symbols are the office because the boss has his own office and the secretary has a little space to do her activities. The next is, are the buildings and values. Also called model codes. These are the basis of defining the right and the wrong in an organization. The next one is the language. And these are the linguistic habits that an organization has, or in other words, is how to address bosses and authority names. For example, in a hotel dreams had it, uh, when a worker or guest say, thank you, the employees say, it's a pleasure. Also, we have the basic assumption. And that, that as name say, it was every now, and also is what someone is expected to be or to do. The next are the heroes. That is something very important in the organizational culture, because these are the people who represent completely the organizational culture. And this can be a founder, a leader, a person who has a good history in the organization, or a famous person in the company. Also, we have the history and the story. These are two different things. The first one is the whole organization come about with facts. Of course, that really happened. And another one are the anecdotes about the organization that employees tell to other employees to generate feelings and say, ah, oh, I would like to work there and make happy to there, be there. And finally, we have the symbolic actions that are the actions that help to have more relationship between the employees. For example, in the hotel drinks having, I'm going to take the example, um, something that every month the company made was celebrate the birthday of all the employees. Well, of course, of the month. Also, they make they made uh, parties for the New Year and for the Christmas. Thank you, 